Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and welcome to another Multichrome Monday. So this is a series that I have been doing on my channel for at least a year now, I think. And basically in this series, I ice watch and compare and just talk about multi-chromes from different brands and I have a whole playlist, but I have a lot of multi-chrome videos. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content because there's going to be a ton of it coming up in the future for sure. So today's multi-chrome Monday, I'm gonna be talking about the new Divina Cosmetics Aurora Flare collection. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and so these are these six multi-chromes. They have a bunch of multi-chromes already. They have a butterfly collection, which is the most similar to these because it has a black base. And then they also have the Galaxy Dust Shifters, which are basically multi-chromes with kind of like a light base. They're a little bit more um, translucent, if you will, so they don't have like a black base. And I have eye swatches of both of those collections up on my channel already for a previous multi-chrome Monday. So I'll be doing some eye swatches as well as some finger swatches, some comparisons. I'll be comparing these right up against the butterfly collection as well as some Cleona shades. I'm sure that's what everybody's wondering about if any of these are dupes because these are definitely way cheaper, not just per product, but also the shipping. And so these retail for $13 each, or you can get them as a bundle for $78, which is a really amazing price for multi-chromes. I have done a bunch of previous multi-chromes that were around $14, $14.5, $15, $16, and even $13 if they're on sale. So this is a really great price. So I think this is a very exciting release. Now straight off the bat, these are definitely much, much smoother. They feel absolutely silky, very like slippery compared to their butterfly collection as well as the Galaxy Dust Shifters. You'll see later I compare them just like on the fingers. You can really tell the texture difference and just like how much more metallic these are. So, so far I really enjoy them. I haven't worn all of them on my eyes yet. I'm wearing one of them right now, but I haven't like wear tested these or anything like that, which doesn't really matter because I have oily lids. I always use my Fernate Pixie Epoxy or the NYX Glitter Primer, which is what I always recommend with multi-chromes in general, pressed or not, unless you have dry lids and you never have any creasing issues but I do with hooded oily lids I just need to always wear some kind of a tacky glue or primer that sets down and those two are just my go-to's let's get right into all the swatches the finger swatches the comparisons and the eye swatches so here we have some swatch comparisons of some similar shades we've got Cleona Forge, Davina Australis, Sydney Grace, Twisted Shifter, and Terra Moon's Head Rush. As you can see, these shades are very, very similar. Next up is Astralis from the new collection, right next to Paralucha from their Butterfly collection. So you can see how much more metallic they are and also just way smoother. The shades are pretty much the same, so you definitely don't need this new one if you already have this one from the Butterfly collection. Next up from left to right, we got Melankite, Parthenos, and Exosphere. So you can see Exosphere is just so much more pigmented and metallic. The other ones kind of applied a little sheer, had to go a bit back and forth. Next up is a comparison between Borealis and Papilio. You can see the huge difference in just these light finger swatches. And these two shades are also pretty similar. Next up is Magnetosphere versus Morphine. Again, very similar shades, but definitely a different formula. Pretty much the same, but the shift is much, much stronger and goes very strongly to a lime green at a really harsh angle on the new shade. So next up, we have some Cleona comparisons. We basically have some exact dupes here. First up is Divina Magnetosphere versus Cleona Rosette. And you can see these are pretty much identical, not just in the way that they swatch, but also the color is very similar. Then we have Divina Exosphere and Cleona Trefoil. Pretty similar, with the Trefoil being a bit more blue. Then we have Divina Australis and Cleona Smolder. Also very, very similar. I would say here Smolder is just a bit more metallic even than Australis but the shifts are basically the same. The pink might be just a tiny bit different. Then we have Divina Thermosphere versus Cleona Spire. Also very, very similar shades. Then we have Divina Borealis and Cleona Castle. Also extremely similar, with Castle being maybe slightly more metallic. 
And last up, we have Davina Polaris, Cleona Oculus, and Cleona Crown Glass. I would say that Oculus is a little bit more similar, but honestly, these are so, so, so similar that it was really hard for me to even see a difference. I know in the swatches, it looks like Crown Glass is more similar, but when I just swatched them on the finger and looked at them different lighting, it seems like Oculus is, so really couldn't go wrong here. So first one up is Thermosphere, and this one I put over the hill on eBay's with this flat brush from ColourPop. And I'm not really a fan the way that this brush applied the multi-chrome, so I ended up switching brushes after this eye and the other eye, so you'll see that later. And this one has a really beautiful dark blue to purple shift. On this other I am putting Magnetosphere. This one is more of a teal to purple, but also depending on the lighting, it can almost be a purpley pink shade. Next up is Exosphere, and this one I put on top of the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and I use a fluffier brush and you can see that this applied so much more metallic and just absolutely beautiful. I didn't really notice like too much of a black base like graying out, which I was really happy about Polaris. And this one is also a green. These two are kind of similar to each other. I don't necessarily think you would need both of these. And this one, I decided to apply the majority of it with my finger just to see how these apply with a finger. And it applied super metallic that I just went in with that brush I used in the other eye to create the wing. And this one has a very green to purple shift, which I had a little bit of trouble capturing with my camera. Last up, I actually refilmed these two eye swatches, so that's why my hair is yellowy orange in this, but I'm putting on Australis, and I'm using a little bit of a different fluffy br flat brush. It's a bit more flatter, a little less fluffy, and it still worked really great to apply this super metallic, really strong shift. I think this shade has the strongest shift. This one goes from purple to salmon to yellow to lime green at a really harsh angle. On the other eye, I'm putting on Borealis, and this one went on super smooth, so pigmented, very metallic. So far, I'm really impressed with these, and this one has a green to blue shift. So after all the comparisons and the eye swatches, I can definitely say that these are much more metallic than the Butterfly collection. And I think that was pretty obvious to see. And I applied them with my usual flat brush from ColourPop that has been discontinued for all the multi-chrome eye swatches I've done from different brands. And I gotta say that these did not apply the best with that. They definitely applied better with a fluffier brush. I wasn't sure if it was um, having to switch up to the Helen eBase versus the Makeup Revolution Kakari Canvas, which I don't have anymore because it smelled off, so I threw it out. So I try to use something similar. And so when I first eye swatched them, I really wasn't sure if it was the base or the brush that was just not working with this formula or something because they did end up looking pretty dull on the eyes. And the moment I switched the base and I used a fluffy brush and also just used my finger, they're way more metallic. So these are definitely best applied with a flatter brush that's a little fluffier though so nothing like too like straight and flat bristles kind of really dense so that's my recommendation for applying these now some of them it was harder to capture the shift and I think that's just the nature of the multi chromes that they are and as in general no matter the brand certain shifts are just harder to see for example a blue to a green so that's the shade exosphere which is this one it's just they're really close together like shade wise and on the color wheel so the shift just doesn't seem as drastic but Astralis definitely has the strongest shift and you can even see in the monitor here and it's just because it goes from a like magenta pink 
to a lime green and those are pretty different so of course it's going to be like a very obvious shift um, and then some of the other ones as well just like the purple to blue sometimes ends up being a little softer and you could see in the swatches some of them were just similar so I would definitely recommend just getting one or the other it really depends on your preference And I'm also really curious if they're going to discontinue the butterfly collection now that they have these because pretty much all of these dupe out the shades that are in the butterfly collection but these are even better now the butterfly collection I believe they're ten dollars per shade so they're even more affordable and they also have I think a couple more shades like two or three shades um, versus this collection has only six I'm wondering if Davina will continue to release some more multi chromes like this will be interesting to see so I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in more multi-chrome content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.